definitely. Last week we were unlucky against Yate. Perhaps not so much today, individual errors costing us. Yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head. I think all four goals could have been prevented. Um, I think that you know we were well in the game first half and I, I wasn't too despondent at being 2-0 down at half time because we actually created some really good chances and I felt at 1-0, Frank Franks had the corner. We've had a couple of half chances, we've had a couple of shots. We look well, well in the game. Um, and, and we never give away, I mean the first goal was sloppy enough, you know, we've got to clear it for a corner, we haven't done that, we've tried to keep it in, they've nicked it off us and scored. And then we've not gone with the, with the runner for the, for, for the second goal and, and we have to do better and we have to defend better and we never and, you know, we made a change at half time to try and go for it a little bit more and I felt again we, we were in the game but they were very dangerous. What, what I think Lee's done here, he's done really well, um, they're organised, they're hard to break down, they're very good at what they do. And it reminded me a little bit like Taunton last year in the way they defended and the way they cleared their lines and, and I was really impressed with them actually. I, having said that, I see glimpses of us and we look really good and in other times you know, I felt that we looked, we looked very, very poor and, and that's you know, got, to, got to start changing because we did create chances um, but defensively today we, we weren't at it and, and at 2-0 we're, we're in the game still with, you know, and then we've given the ball away now in, in their half and the lads broke on us and we haven't defended it properly and they've scored and made it free. And then we get one back and, and you think, right, come on, let's have a go for the last 15, 20 minutes. And um, listen, we, we all know the referee's made a massive error in the penalty. I don't think that would change the scoreline. I think uh, Swindon in the end fully deserved it. But it was a really poor decision on us. You know, he's won the ball cleanly. It's a, it's a, it's a great bit of goalkeeping. And, and you fall one down. And after that, you know, listen, it was the Alamo in the end. We were all out of shape. We were all over the place. And we have to do better. And um, you know, it, it's a really frustrating one, John, because at times I think we look a really, really exciting, good outfit. And then other times, you know, we, we look very naive and, and, and average. So we, we, need to, we need to get better at, uh, at being more consistent. So, so how do you go about doing that? Obviously we've got Hayes on Tuesday night, which is a, a pretty, well, it's probably not, not too many tougher games to go into off a 4-1 defeat. So, so how, do you, how do you regroup in, in, in three days? Well, I think what we have to do is, is become more solid and, and more solid quickly. And, and we've, we've spoken there, look, it's not shouting and balling at the moment. We're two games into a very, very long, long season. I, I'm, I'm pleased where the group is. I thought last week, we all said it, we should be sitting here on three points. We're not, we still got beat. Um, and, and Tuesday night we have to go back to basics very, very quickly because if we leave gaps, if we expose ourselves like we did today, we're banging trouble because we know we're going to the favourites for the league. They're a very, very good side. They've got players that should be playing a lot higher. And, and you know, if we if we go and perform like we did today, we'll get beat again. And, um, you know, it's, it's a tough one at the moment because, as I say, like I said it there, at times I see some really good play, some exciting play. And other times I see some real average play and um, look, Swindon deserve what they got today.